I'm gonna give you four things you can do if you notice pelvic organ prolapse symptoms ramping up during a workout. Number one, I want you to soothe yourself in some way, whatever feels good for you. I want you to stop what you're doing, take a deep few breaths and really try to relax. I want you to try to bring your heart rate down, go into child's pose, whatever feels good for you. I want you to try to self-soothe, calm, get centered and calm, and then let's move on. What tends to happen when people feel pop symptoms ramping up is they can get really anxious or nervous or start to make up stories about what those symptoms mean. And often it will go to that there is some severity, there is a worsening of the prolapse, and I want you to take a breath and remind yourself that what you might be experiencing right now could have nothing to do with the actual physical condition of your prolapse. All right, number one, calm yourself down. Number two, I want you to notice if you're using your whole body, engaging the whole body in the exercise or the movement you are doing. And that's what I want you to do if you are not doing that. So if you are deadlifting and you notice some um, dragginess, I want you to notice if you are just, say, using the upper body and the arms to pull that barbell off the floor. And if you are, I want you to remind yourself it's a whole body exercise and let's figure out a cue that we can use to get us engaging the whole body, the whole system in that movement. Number three, I want you to breathe in a different way. It doesn't matter what way, just different from whatever you are doing right now. Taking that deadlift example, maybe you are exhaling as you pull the bar from the floor all the way to standing tall. Maybe you need to breath hold as you're pulling that bar from floor to standing, which might feel weird and controversial for you. And you might've been told to never do that, but it could be a strategy that actually works for you in this scenario. So many ways we can play around with the breath, but bottom line, as my mentor, Anthony Lowe would say, do something different. Next up, I want you to adjust your body position or your alignment. Maybe in that deadlift, you are trying to keep perfect posture and that can feel like standing up super tall with your shoulders back, like maybe a parent or a teacher told you to do. That is what we think of good posture. Maybe you need to try less hard. Maybe you need to have posture that isn't so perfect. Maybe you need to relax the ribs down. Maybe you need to round over slightly. Notice your tendency in that deadlift and change the position slightly. And the very last thing I want you to do, if that stuff isn't working, I want you to change the amount of tension that you are building in your abdominal wall, in your core, in your pelvic floor. Sometimes when those pop symptoms are coming up, we think that maybe we just need to build more tension, more engagement in the pelvic floor, but it might be the opposite. Maybe you need to let go and relax through the pelvic floor in order to keep things moving better in that region. So notice your reaction to the symptoms first. How are you feeling about them? Are there any beliefs or stories that you need to check? Calm yourself down. Then notice, are you only using one part of your body to do this movement or lift when you could be having the rest of the body help you out? Then take a look at your breathing, your inhales and exhales. When are they happening and could you shift them at all? Notice your body position and alignment. Can you change anything there? Are you trying to stand too perfectly, too rigid? Can you relax in your body a little bit more? And lastly, notice the tension. Are you trying to build tons of tension in the pelvic floor? Or maybe you're not even paying attention to the pelvic floor and a little bit of awareness would help you out. Try those things if you're noticing pelvic organ prolapse symptom ramp up during your workout.